Hey guys, I am Yvonne Camper. I am a prophet, not for profit. I have made a commitment and a vow to God not to mistreat, misuse, mishandle God's people for financial gain. My assignment and my mandate is to help prophets excel in the marketplace, marriage, and ministry. So God bless you. So I'm going to give you eight points today on how to position yourself for a promotion. And I'm not just talking about a promotion in ministry, but a promotion in the marketplace or wherever God has set you. And it comes from the life of Joseph. So I'm going to run through the life of Joseph real quick, and then I'm going to give you my eight points, and then I will be out of your hair. So the life of Joseph, we all know this story, but it's I was, I'm reading my Bible through in a year, and it's just such an amazing and a beautiful story. It really... Um, reiterates to me the providence of God concerning your life. It does not matter what you've been through, where you are, or what you're doing right now. God has a divine purpose and plan for your life. So Joseph was thrown into slavery. He ended up at Potiphar's house and became over all every. He was became the general over everything in Potiphar's house. We know that Potiphar's wife tried to seduce him and sleep with him, but but Joseph decided that he was not going to sleep with her, and he ran out of the house and she grabbed up his robe and tore off a piece of his robe and made her husband think that Joseph had assaulted her and attacked her. What a horrible story. She, he was being set up. Terrible. So Joseph ended up in prison. And once he got to prison, the gift of the Lord and the hand of God was still on him. And the Bible says that the warden made J Joseph over everything in the prison. And because he got to prison, he was, excuse me, because he got to prison, he had the, the opportunity to interpret the dream of the baker and the butler. And this, this scenario would later position him to be over all of Egypt. So let's go through the story and talk about the first point. So the first point is this. Remember who gave you the gift. Because Joseph interpreted the butler's dream, it opened the door for him to go to the palace and interpret the dream of Pharaoh. Remember, Pharaoh had a dream of seven fat cows, seven lean cows. And then he saw the lean cows eat up the fat cows. And so Joseph, when Joseph um, came into the palace to interpret the dream of Pharaoh, he told Pharaoh that God is the interpreter of dreams, not me. So point number one is remember who gave you the gift. So many people are using the gift that God gave them for themselves and for financial gain. The next point is this. Integrity, keep your integrity and your honor. I don't care how slow the process is. I don't care if it seems like you're going nowhere fast. I don't, see, I don't care if it seems like your life has stalled. Keep your integrity and your character. Sometimes we want to cheat the system when we feel like our life is not moving fast enough. David could have slept with Potiphar's wife and nobody would have never known. It could have been a long-standing affair that they could have kept secret for years. But, but Joseph was adamant about saying that I am not going to dishonor my master and I am not going to sin against God. David, I mean, Jacob's, I'm sorry, David, not David and not Jacob. Joseph's integrity and honor was more important to him than to get a quick fix. So as God is promoting you, no matter where you are, keep your honor and your integrity. Honor those that you are working for. Honor those who you are serving under because your integrity is powerful. God, the psalmist wrote that David led them by the integrity of his hand and then his gift. We want to do the reverse. We want to leave people by our gift and then our integrity. Integrity is important and primary. The next point is that God wants to make sure you are strong enough to handle where he is taking you. Per adventure, Joseph spent the, all those time, the time that he spent in the prison because God was strengthening him, because God was speaking to him, because God was talking to him about where he was taking him. I don't believe that Joseph was ignorant about the, the mandate that was on his life, but he had to wait on God's timing. I want to encourage you to wait on the timing of God. You want to get married, Wait on the timing of God. You want a new position. Your head, you, you applied for a promotion. Wait on the timing of God. God's timing is perfect because he wants to make sure that you have the strength to handle where he is taking you. He told the children of Israel in Exodus 22:30. he said, I 
am going to force out all your enemies. This is the, the children of Israel moving into the promised land. He said, I'm going to force out all your enemies little by little until your nation grows and is strong enough to take over the entire land. God wants to make sure that you are strong enough to handle where he is taking you. Paul said, don't put a novice or an inexperienced person in position or power. The next point is that God will put you in the right place at the right time. We look at Joseph coming from the palace. We've heard the messages from the palace to the pit, from the palace to prison. We look at Joseph going to prison as a tragedy or a travesty, but it was actually the divine plan of God. He needed to interpret the butler's dream so that years later, the butler will remember Joseph and tell Pharaoh about Joseph's ability to interpret dreams and he would save an entire nation because of his God-given ability and so remember that God will put you in the right place at the right time you don't have to try to meet people you don't have to send your video your tape your book you don't have to send it out across the country let God promote you in his timing he knows how to put you in the right place at the right time the next point is that that Joseph overcame betrayal. Imagine the hurt and the sting of his own flesh and blood, his own brothers betraying him and, and selling him into slavery. I couldn't imagine the hurt, but he overcame betrayal. When his brothers came to get, to, to get grain and to get fed, he was over all of Egypt and Pharaoh told him, no one is going to move a foot or a hand without you speaking a word. He could have done anything to his brother and completely annihilated them and starved them to death. But he overcame the sting of betrayal. And the Bible says that Joseph wept and he told them that what you meant for evil, God meant for his good. So Joseph had to be in, in Egypt at the time that he was in Egypt. The next point is is that Joseph was a solutionist. You are, when God promotes you, you are a solution. You have the solution to a problem. You have an answer to something that people have been trying to solve for months and weeks and even years. You are a solutionist. Joseph not only interpreted Pharaoh's dream, but he also gave them solution because the interpretation was the, that the skinny cows meant, the, the fat cows meant that there was going to be seven years of harvest and the skinny cows that ate the fat cows meant that there was going to be seven years of famine. So the solution that Joseph gave Pharaoh was that during the seven years of harvest, we're going to skim grain off the top. We're going to put it in a treasury. So when the, the years of harvest come, that all of Egypt will be saved and all of Egypt, Egypt was saved and the surrounding cities were saved as well. He, and because he had a solution, the Bible says that Pharaoh said, there is no man like this that has the spirit of God on him. And because you had a solution to the problem, I am going to put you over all of Egypt second to me. The next point is that your promotion is not just for you. Joseph was able to save his entire family. He was able to move them from Canaan into Egypt where they would be cared for and taken for, taken care of. And the last point is this, is that promotion includes responsibility. Joseph was put over all of Egypt. He had a responsibility to take care of all the inhabitants of Egypt, and he was able to take care of them and the surrounding cities. And so God bless you and understand. He said, God said, I know the thoughts that I have towards you, thoughts of good and not evil, thoughts to give you a future and a hope. And I will show you the end from the beginning. beginning. Know that God is positioning you for a promotion. God bless you and I love you. Um, please join my YouTube channel under Yvonne D. Camper and you can watch all my videos and all my Facebook lives. God bless you.